So who can we spot here? This is a red squirrel. It's one of about 52 that actually live uh, within Photo Wildlife Park at the present moment. Um, red squirrel, very, very important, belongs to a group of animals called Order Rodentia. It lives high up in the in a variety of trees here in the Wildlife Park uh, in a nest known as a dray. Normally they live in their drays on their own. During the winter period to help them to stay warm, they might actually decide to share their dray with perhaps one or two other red squirrels in the area as well. He feeds mainly on seeds from different trees, even ones that you'll see here like the pine cone for example. So an obvious sign that red squirrels actually live here in the wildlife park as well. So there are lots of these scattered across the woodland floor right throughout the wildlife park and outside the, the boundary fence of the wildlife park as well. Of course, if food comes into short supply, it might decide to change its mind. It could feed on things like fungi. Um, it feeds on buds and shoots of different plant species within it. Um, but its preference certainly is for, for seeds more than anything else here. The breeding season for them can start if the weather is very, very mild in December, then it could start in December and run right through to the following autumn as well. So it can be quite an extensive breeding period for them. The babies known as kits or kittens and mums will have anything from two to eight kits or kittens in their litters at any one time. So that's a, a huge family for the, the female to actually rear. Normally once they reach an age of two to three months then they decide to leave the dray and they live independently as well. You can see from them that they have a, a thick coat, very important to keep them warm during the winter months, a very long bushy tail which is a balancing aid for them. Sharp claws, very, very important for climbing as well. And during the winter months, they don't actually hibernate like a lot of people would assume. In actual fact, they go into what we call torpor. And torpor is just a short period of inactivity. So they may decide that when the weather gets very, very cold, that they may decide to actually stay in their drays or nests for two or three days at a time with the aim of actually saving energy.